Moving on. Keeping up with the Geek Bros. Okay, Moving no on. vamos. Moving on. Okay, the cure for your common day, James Gunn and, and random guy there named new heads of Warner Brothers. Saffron. Peter Saffron. DC. I don't really care. He's he's not he's not what's Dude, important. You should. He's I, pretty he's, big. He should care. So who? He's an important name. In where? I never heard of him before. At, like at like one point, I thought it movies. said I thought it said Peter Saban. At one point, I was like, oh Saban. No, no, so anyway, no. um, a... named new heads of Warner Brothers Studios. So forget Peter Saffron. It's James no, Gunn that's the story. No, because this mm. is where the story is. Is that Not James, James Gunn, Gunn James Gunn poached from, from Marvel and I, did you guys see um, He's already been doing DC content though. That's different. Uh, okay, that's different. He is now the head of the rival studio. He basically Marvel could say we took you under our wing, we shepherded you and you just left us for the rival. You're going to take all our secrets with you. No, and, would, I mean, like and, it's better opportunity. You should go, which is right. I'm not saying it. Did you see at the at the premiere of Wakanda Forever, Kevin Feige's re- reaction to being asked that question, you and the way the he looked? Watch it, mm-hmm. right? It, it that that's the corporate response, and it was perfect. It was his face before when he realized he was being asked that question. He's like, he's like, oh yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Uh well, he's great, and I can't wait to watch what he what he does. He says, but you know, James knows he's got a lot to do until next November for Marvel before he does what he needs to do. So, what do you think? I think he does, but so what do you think this means for? Because because he he was arguably one of the better directors of Marvel, he was the best, the best. Okay, that I, I I didn't want to go that far. I agree, he's the best. The best. Over the best. Uh, and uh, you know, like, and then, hands down, dude. He took like a cast of like nobody. Exactly, exactly. Who the hell is the Guardian of the Galaxy? Yeah. It says two thousand. Yeah, but like come and... two thousand twelve, like oh my god, Guardians of the Galaxy, best yeah. superhero they, series ever. Marvel, Marvel hasn't made another obscure comic book hit since then, and it clearly was at the at the, the voice of James Gunn. Clearly, the voice of James Gunn, and and you can I see mean, that because Thor, because kind of. what? Well, I mean, Thor is kind of. He was Thor's kind of on that level. He was no he, to the general audience, but to the to but Thor to the comic book people. He was he's the, one of the main main people. He's one of the main was main, he main, yeah in the comic books yeah he was one of the main ones. Guardians of the Galaxy was a, was a very obscure title that they that they dropped and rebooted and dropped and rebooted. Yeah. So I'm talking about comic wise. T- technically, all of Marvel is was fringe at one point because nobody knew Marvel. They knew DC. The, the general well public. through the through the nineties, Marvel wasn't as fringe. There are certain characters like Captain America, Iron Man, Spider Man, all of like because because I mean because... they had their own Fox series. I mean who, their who household name. Who did Spider Man? Had a Fox? No, uh, Sp- 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 yeah, that's different. Captain I mean, America, but those are the but no, Captain America didn't have was was he was yeah, not the main. He had his own like cartoon. He already had a movie. He had his own. He had his own. He had a um, movie. Show. That he had, no, yeah, he those had didn't, those, those those didn't those don't count. Nobody I mean, you those. know. Thor didn't have a movie. No, he didn't. But the Hulk he was, had a movie. No, he but was, he, they he, knew. Was, he was in a show. What? I don't remember the Thor. He was in a show. I think it was I think it was in the Hulk series or something, but I remember right. seeing But like just because a, he uh, did a cameo or had two shitty movies doesn't mean that 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 uh he was uh I mean wasn't he's as not as Thor. Okay, Thor there's a, there's Thor definitely like it. levels to it, but like you know, like no, but but let's just say the, James Gunn the main people, story, James Gunn didn't, yeah. didn't took fucking Guardians of the Galaxy and made them right. like but they were household obscure. names. They were that was that was that was the biggest risk for Marvel since Iron Man One. They made it very clear that that was the biggest risk for them because that had no no recognition at all. As opposed to Thor and, and and Iron Man and Captain America, they had people knew what those kind of were about. Guardians of the Galaxy, nobody knew that shit. And Marvel very 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 clear. This is a huge gamble, and it paid off very well. And and I believe it, it was James Gunn because when um, I watched The Suicide Squad and I watched Peacemaker, and Peacemaker was one of the one of the things I didn't give a shit about. I, who who forced me to watch Peacemaker? Was it you, man? Man, me. It was okay. Me. He's like, give it or give it, and I loved it. It was James. That was a James Gunn joint. So yep. was so was the Suicide Squad, which I loved the Suicide Squad James Gunn joint. So they just lost a a a, a huge creative head for Marvel, you know, 
that yeah. was able to, to, to that has his own voice. The Russo brothers are great, but they they made spectacle Marvel movies. James Gunn made James Gunn movies in 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 you know in Marvel properties. So well, they have Taika now. Who makes uh, Taika movies? Uh, <laughs> Thor: Love and Thunder he made one was really... a travesty. Mm, it was it was better it, than the second movie. I like the second movie better than I like oh uh, Love God. and Thunder. No, don't get me wrong. I didn't. Ragnarok was great, fantastic. But he, but he took what was what, what was fun about Ragnarok. He dialed that shit up to like twenty, and it was awful. Love and Thunder, mm. it, you know, was uh, terrible. We went we went over this about Love and Thunder. What was it? It, it was the la- the least liked of the four Thor yeah. movies. It was. Yeah. It's the what? least liked. Really? Yeah, it's the least yeah. liked. It's Thor. Mm. It's, it's Love and Thunder. It's uh, it's Dark World. It's Ragnarok. No, it's Thor, and then it's Ragnarok. That's that's yeah, Ragnarok. Ragnarok's the first one. Well, well, back to James Gunn and Peter Safran. I hope this isn't like just another like empty promise by DC, like the Batgirl series or anything with like J.J. Abrams' name on it. Like if they somehow screw up James Gunn and Peter Safran, this sucks. <laughs> I don't think suck, so. I bro. think I think I think James Gunn can read a contract, and I'm pretty sure he said, "Listen, don't, don't do not fuck with me." And why yeah. would they want to? I mean, he's, because, he's got that because when they brought he's him got over, that clout now. When they brought him over, and he did what he did with 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 the Suicide Squad and uh, Peacemaker. Why would they? How are you not him? remembering Brightburn, dude? Brightburn is also another James Gunn finger. That was that was James Gunn. That was another Brightburn, James Gunn. Bright, I love Brightburn. Brightburn. You know what else is James Gunn? What? Scooby-Doo. That's, Scooby-Doo. We don't, we don't talk about Scooby-Doo. We don't talk about Scooby-Doo. Oh, my God. All okay. right. We're moving on. How about to... how you're ignoring Peter Safran? One more. There's a whole bunch of I movies that he's had his hands on. I don't care about Peter Safran. Bro, Aquaman, Shazam. Shazam Annabelle, was okay. Uh-huh. And the 2000s comedy killer, Scary Movie. You just you just took all the excitement I had for James Gunn running it and you put it in the and shitter. And now it's all in like Peter all, it's all, now. It's all in the shitter. What? It's all in the shitter. Bro. No. I don't, Aquaman, Shazam, Annabelle. Yo, out of Shazam is every, one of the best DC movies that have come out in the, the last five years. That's the only positive thing in that list you just, you just announced. The only positive thing. I mean, thing. like, at least he's got some sort of vision. Vision. Uh, you know who doesn't uh, have vision? Vision Quest, yeah. <laughs> uh, Keeping up with the Geek Bros.